I'm trying to get a yeah. Look at all these dudes. Oh yeah. my, look at this. Uh. Wait, I gotta count them. There's too many. Look how many it is. Wait, look at. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, he motored on. What is poppin' squad? It is your boy, and today we're gonna be talking about the life of division we're talking about what to expect for the if you're a new player like if you're watching this in december uh of this year and you come back and you just want to see what to expect for this final patch which is pretty much what it is if you've been keeping up with division if you know how the division works if you know how the devs been talking this is pretty much the last patch we're dealing with whatever the meta is that's the meta that's going to be nothing's really going to change as far as i know unless something crazy happens like free to play uh i don't see anything changing now honestly what to expect right look I'm going to be completely blunt with you guys and be completely transparent. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. It is a Nomad D3 and possibly Final Measure era. Okay, It's always going to be like that until the end of the Division's life cycle, whenever that may be. Um, if they do make some miraculous patch because of a glitch or because of balance and they just randomly do it, then they expect. But as of right now, what you see is what you get with the Division. And the only way... You're going to enjoy it. Is drop them and drop the mentality that's giving you expectations that aren't going to happen. And people always ask me, how do I still play the game? How do you still play this dead game? How do you still enjoy it? It's because I don't expect it to be treated as a brand new game. The game is two years old. Okay, these developers have busted their ass left and right, glitch after glitch, bug after exploit after balance. It's a lot of work, bro. And it's not brown nosing. It's being realistic with any profession. You know, it's like you can't please everybody. You're going to fix the problem for 600 people, break it for a thousand. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna say this is our most balanced patch. They they, they could have left it at 1.7, and I think it would have been better. But that's me. I'm not a developer. I, I don't I I don't know what resources they wanted to be used, and I I know well, if they take classify out the game. Listen, I I hear you, but that's. That's not the mentality they have. They worked on these gear sets. You know what I'm saying? The coding, the design, the 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 thought process, the balancing, all that stuff went into it. So of course they're not going to take that out the game. Stop expecting that. It's not gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Wake up. Okay. Now, if you're a newer player, right? Let's say you're watching this right now and you just you just finally got end game. There's going to be set gear sets. I know you want to have your diversity to the point where you want to you can run whatever you want. But if you want to have a comfortable time, if you want to get actually get kills and survive, you're going to have to pay attention to what builds are being ran and how they're being ran. Because in this patch, there's an obvious change of, of which builds are actually strong. And there's a lot of strong builds in comparison to others. Like Hunter's Faith and stuff are still gone. Sentry. That all those builds will never be able to be fully optimized in the DZ and be effective to the point where it's better than using anything else. You know what I'm saying? But... At the same time, if you want to have fun, wild out, try something different, I'm not saying don't do that. If, if anything, I encourage that. All I'm saying is, if I'm going to be blunt with you, if you want to get kills against other sweaties, that's what you're going to have to do. And it's not, it's not even if you can't beat them, join them type thing. It's play what's smart. You know what I'm saying? Play smarter, not harder. And for the people who expect a miraculous patch, look, bro. The game is two years old. They are working on Division 2. The beta is right around the corner. The launch is right around the corner. Bro, we are in October. So we have November, December, January, February, March. And we are already at the full release of the game. Not including betas in between and obviously other titles that are dropping in order to hold us off. So if you just love Division to the point where you know you're going to play it every day regardless. The best way to play it is play it expectation free. Play it for what it is pretend 1.7 and stuff never existed listen that's another time it was beautiful while it happened you know what i'm saying all good things coming to an end that patch came to an end that's that this is a new patch it may not have nothing you may like but look at the glass halfway full and you will enjoy the game people always ask me how do i enjoy it that's that's my secret okay my secret is play the game for what it is adapt and and just do do what you do survive and kill simple 
And I think it comes down to your own mentality on how you're going to enjoy the game. It comes down to how serious you want the experience to be. Um, trying to make it competitive is not a competitive game. Never was. Never will be. Trying to trying to master a secret OP build that does everything. Not going to happen. Um, trying to be immortal and win every single gunfight. Not going to happen. Trying to convince rogue police to actually flag up so that you're not the only one getting focused. Not going to happen. All these things are just the reality of the culture of 1.8.3. We can all dream of a 1.8.4 where there's no, where there's friendly fire and where there's no 5,000 procs on a solo nomad and there's no rogue police and there's no cheesy build and it's just straight skill and the box is popping and ADS heal. Yes, that sounds good, but that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? In a perfect world, I'd be able to be a millionaire and make all my subscribers millionaires. Now, now imagine if I sat here every day thinking about how, how to make my subscribers millionaires. And if, and if I can't do it right now, I frustrate myself that I will live a very stressed life. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you, you're, you guys are searching for answers that don't exist for, for satisfactions that aren't going to be quenched with this game and take it for what it is. Be happy that we had a game that was lit, bro. And it's still lit. Like, don't get me wrong. There's things I don't like about the game, but Division's still my favorite game. Still. Probably always will be, unless Division 2 just sweeps it. But for the, for the, for the most part, we we had a great run with Division 1. And I'm not saying the game's dead because people are saying, well, you're making it seem like the game's dead. No, I'm just saying for the expectation, right? For the excitement of the next patch, for the what to expect and what's new and all that stuff. That part of the Division has came and gone as it should with any game everything comes to an end and not now we're left with the product it may not be what exactly what you want it may, may not be even close to what you want you may hate it but you still play it because you enjoy it now make it a mental enjoyment as well physically the game's going to be enjoyable the, the gameplay hasn't changed the the, the gunplay still fun the strafing and stuff is still there the, the, the habits, the glow man hunt, all that stuff is still there. It's just the builds in between and the habits. If you can get past that mentally, you will have so much fun just relaxing, shooting people, hanging with your buds, going man hunt, and doing your thing. You feel me? Stop thinking so hard about a two-year-old game. You know what I'm saying? And I think it comes down to how much fun do you want to have with the game while you play it? You're going to play it anyways. Make it comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just like this. Like, if you if you live in your car, if you mess up your car and, and you just leave trash all over the place and you, you're living in there regardless, you're making your own life harder. Clean up the car. Make it look nice. Add some decorations. Make it homey. That's what I'm saying. If you're going to be playing Division, make it homey. Make it comfortable. Mentally say, okay, look, this is what I'm cool with, so I'm not cool with. It's okay. I know what to expect, so I'm just going to adapt. You do that, bro, and you're going to have so much fun with this game, bro. Just having fun, chilling. Be chill. Be easy. Relax. Breathe. Be appreciative for what it was and be excited for what is to come for the next game. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much what, what I say you should expect. And the game is only as fun as you make it at this point. It, it used to be where we relied on the game itself for the fun aspect. Now... Being that we have a, a product that not a lot of people are happy with, do what you can to enjoy the game. If you're going to play the game, if you still, if you're telling yourself, I'm going to play the game regardless, because it's the only thing I like playing, it's the only game of its kind, enjoy it, bro. Don't play something you don't enjoy. I, just like my last video, where I told people, if you don't want to play a game, don't play it. If you are going to play it, bro, make it enjoyable. You feel me? Make it something fun. Stop sweating. Start breathing. You know what I'm saying? Get your man hunts. Get your rogues. Flag up. Play it like zombies, bro. Fight till you drop. And that's it. Respawn and rinse and repeat until your heart's content, bro. If you're a farmer, farm. If you're a PvP or PvP. If if, if you're just a, a, a build maniac, create crazy builds. Even though they've been done before. Do a, do something. You know what I'm saying? That that's fun for you. Now, for everybody else, run whatever you want to run, do whatever you want to do, have your habits, and enjoy the damn game for what it is. Once you do that, you will officially have fun with what's left of Tom Clancy's The Division. 
It's been real. Thank y'all so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the game, bros. Your boy is out.